All right, let's see how we're doing here. Um, trying to give Mixer a moment, make sure it's aware that I'm that I'm actually on. Let me make sure that uh, my headset's good. Um, my face doesn't feel as crooked, but sometimes when things feel too good, that means that the the mic isn't in the right place, and I end up not being loud enough. Uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Just a pain in the the booty there. All right, so. Um, alright, so I'm looking at a mod here, and I've got it highlighted on the screen. It's the Mystic Order. Um, if you read the words, the words, as uh, one YouTuber says, uh, the mod is a new player home with some new clothing and spell. I imagine that was supposed to be spells along with a short quest line. Um, let's see, it says it's nav meshed, and you can do hearth fire multiple adoptions if you use that. Um, the manor itself is in a different dimension. You can use a portal to get there. Okay. Now it says to start this mod, go to Riverwood Sleeping Giant Inn, which is where I'm at. <clears throat> there will be a book in there on the bar. Read it to get started. Um, let's see. They miss some they mentioned some other things here. Let's see, uh, they must add some NPCs in. Yeah, they may have, well, they say they fixed the uh, the face problem, so hopefully they did. Um, overall, I, I don't know anything else about it other than what we've read here, just that it allows you to get a, you know, get a home or a, a they say, manor. Um, so we'll see what it looks like. Um, we'll go through the little quest to get there. Um... I'll try not to be so grumpy about it. It's just, you know, this is another thing where we have to go through a little quest. We'll see if it's actually worth, you know, doing. Considering the two really big home mods we just looked at that that were huge and, you know, you didn't have to go through any little quest line. We'll see, you know. So I'm at the Sleeping Giant Inn, and this is Helen again. And ignore that right there. For some reason, I'm getting that text. And I can't explain to you why. But when I hover over things, I get the correct text. So I think that's just a glitch. Um, you may or may not see that. So let's go in and read the book and get this quest started so we can go find this manor. Now, as you know, due to my previous grumps, I'm not a big fan of these little dilly-dallies and time wasters. But let's let's try to be fair, you know. And uh, I've I've kind of, you know, the the heart and thunder modder was a very nice guy, and he was actually, you know, correcting me um, about or letting me know that there was. Yes, sir. Hold on a second. Where's that book at? See, I saw the flower laying on top of it, so you have to be careful, I guess. But you can still get to the book. Uh, I think the flower is there because I have another mod about um, unique ends, interiors, and them. You know, this one has had a, some minor tweaks. Anyway, so let's read this book to get this started. Now, it says we can take it, and it's not stealing. It's a group of powerful mages. They collect knowledge. Oh, it said they have found a way to create their own plane of oblivion. Okay. You must defeat a champion. Okay. So this house, I'm going to take the book with me. So this house, they're saying basically you need to do a little quest, go defeat somebody. I still have the little glitch there, but... Yeah, that text is staying there, but we'll just ignore that for now. So, alright, let's see... Now, I did not give her, I will tell you right now, she doesn't have a lot of spells. If you look at all her spells, it's mainly cheat spells and a couple other little things. <laughs> you know, she. So we're just going to do the best we can. She has to defeat some champion. I might have to... Let me see if she has anything to wear. Um... She doesn't really have anything, but we'll we'll find a way to defeat whatever this champion is. And um we'll worry about that when we get there. I can always go to the chi room real quick. So 
we'll get her outfitted with something. So, so we've got this quest. Let me, oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. I apologize for that. Oh, actually, that was the right button. Let's go to the quest. Okay, so we're doing the Mystic Order. This is the quest, Find the Strange Ruins. I'm going to show you that on the map. Okay, Alftan is here. And the Wayward Pass is there. I think I'm going to hit Alftan and try to just walk over here. So let's try that. Hopefully there won't be too much we have to fight. Oh, wait, you know what? I have a spell we can use. That's right. I'll set that spell up. Give me just a second. Um, we need to set up... It's a cheat spell, yes. Alright, so that's the cheat menu 1, set silent kill. So now if we run across anything, we can just cast that silent kill on them and that will take care of them. So for now, we'll be okay. Well, these wolves don't seem to care about me. And she's, what, a bandit? Alright, well, we took care of her. I'm not sure why the wolves don't care about me. I get that sometimes. Sometimes wolves in my game, I think there must be some setting, they're, like, semi-friendly. They just don't, they don't really have anything against me. Now, I think we can jump up this way. Let's move over here. Let's do some super jumps. And we'll we'll make our way up the mountain. It may take a moment, but I think we can do it. We'll just keep moving. Come on, work with me. There you go. All right, so... Oh, she's just a hunter with a dog. All right, we're not gonna kill her. Let's put our put our death spell away. So, do we use these steps? I suppose. I did try to check out a little bit of this mod, but I didn't get all the way through everything, so I didn't get a lot done, um, which is why I'm here. But I wanted to show you this anyway. I was going to back up and do this anyway. So it's all good. So let's see. What do we got? We've, we've discovered strange ruins. We've got a book. Um, a book that I can't read. Okay, hold on. Let's go in here. Oh, there's a key. Let's take the key. Why did that sound so awful? It sounded like something was eating me. Okay, the book says it's up here, but notice something. I've had this happen before. The book is actually down here. Search the strange ruins for a book and a key. Find the mystic cave. All right, that's okay. I've had that kind of thing happen before. Don't be surprised if your book is actually on the ground and not up here on the altar. It's not a huge deal. It's another reason, though, I don't like these types of things when you... See, when you're creating things, it's just like when you create any program, I don't know what this hunter is doing, or anything else. Um, the more complicated you make it, the more points of failure you have. The more um, chance there is that something is going to go wrong. It's just uh, the way of life. The more complicated you make things, the more opportunity there is for failure. So, pardon me, having some coffee. Okay, I don't know what that's about, and I think she wanted to give me something, but she's too far away. Anyway. Oh, missed her. There we go. Alright, so anyway. I don't know why these guys keep showing up while I'm trying to do things. You know, this happened the other day when we were in the Heart of Thunder. <laughs> Anyway, um, so, it's another reason I kind of 
go crazy about this stuff. You know, if you're doing a house mod, if you're really just doing a house mod, you don't need to do all this other stuff. Um, now, if you're doing a quest mod, though, that's fine. That's fine. And if the house is the reward for doing the quest, okay. But, you know, really, when you just run me out here like this to grab a book and a key, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but you're really just wasting time because this is just something you added for me to come out here and look at one time to grab the key. It, it doesn't really further the game or the process. It doesn't really add anything to this little, um, I guess, story. Um, eh, just my opinion. Anyway, um, it doesn't stop us from doing it. So now the cave we need to go to is, wow, this is really far away from where we are. So we have to go really far away. All right, well, I mean, at least this isn't conflicting with anything that I can tell. Um, so it looks like Reach Cliff Cave is the closest. So let's go there. And I'm really not saying all this to be mean or to be hateful. I'm really not. I mean, if you want to create a quest mod and do something like that, then just make a little dungeon, you know, um, even if it's short and small. Sometimes, sometimes little short quests and dungeons are fun, you know, it doesn't, you know. But I understand if maybe this is your way of kind of creating your first quest mod or something. It's just, uh, it's just a little, hmm, oh, I think it's down there. It's, you know, it's just a little bit of a waste of time to go out there to find the book and the key. And it really doesn't make good, no uh, <clears throat> it doesn't make real good sense that the book and key would just be laying out there in the middle of nowhere anyway. Um, <clears throat> if you'd come straight to this cave and maybe found the book and the key, you know, on a dead person in the front of the cave. Maybe that would make more sense, though I know that's probably been done to death, too. Nonetheless, here we are. We're at the Mystic Cave, so just, just some... I'm really just trying to be constructively criticizing. I'm really not trying to be a downer, okay? Because we're not there yet. This might be one of the best fun little house mods I've ever seen, so let's just go. But, you know, that first step of just going and getting the book and the key out there was, yeah, I mean, that was, you know, that's kind of just a time-wasting step. Uh, could be worse. You know, maybe, well, I don't want to give you bad ideas. I was going to say maybe you should um, instead... Oh, okay. Let's see what's... What do we think of this? Maybe instead, to get the look in the key, you would come here and do this little dungeon and defeat whoever this is, and then you would go to the home. Maybe you would get the spell from him, too. I don't know. I don't know what your idea is, but uh, I'm just kind of going here. So let's see. I'm gonna, it's a little dark in here. Let's get us a torch out. Oh, that's much better. Now she can see better. Alright. So let's go up here. Pardon me for a minute. So we needed that key for this. Let me do a quick save. We're opening the door. Okay, no bad guys. Nothing for her to be worried about. Yet, I say, yet. Oh, we got a little Magicka Potion, that's nice. Is that our dude? He's a Mystic Mage. Hmm. Okay. Nothing bad about that. Now look here. Hold on. We're going to take a look. Don't you think I am master of the art 
He doesn't have any face gen problems, so that's nice. Oh. Oh, I can't shoot. My third person aiming isn't that great, even though I wish it was. Oh. Did she shoot me through the door? That's kind of rude. Alright, so what's my trick here? You've got three switches. And you have... I could use flames on her. I don't know how well that would work through the door. She's probably staying back out of the door anyway. It doesn't look like it's getting to her. <coughs> so, did you see any... I don't see any hint or clue. Okay, so the middle one, <coughs> excuse me, is not the correct one. The right one is not the correct one. So I guess these are just trial and error. And that one is the correct one. Okay, well, let's put our torch back on. Let's put our cheese spell back on. We'll try to shoot her when we see her. She's down. So she was pretty fussy. I don't know why. She's wearing the same thing as the other guy. All right. So here, see this part of it. Seems pretty good. Seems right. You know, oh, I have to take a little trip in a dungeon. You should have just sent me directly to this cave, I think. Um, though that does make this more of a little dungeon mod than a house mod. But it's okay. I mean, I don't want to be totally, you know, Mr. Negativity. Oh, we just opened the gate the easy way. Alright, that's fine. I actually appreciate that. Simpler is better. Um, we just have stuff laying in the floor. I'll take it. I have seen mods before where, um, the loot was actually laying on top of barrels, which was funny. And I don't know if that was just a problem with the game loading or something else. Alright, let's do a quick save. We're gonna come through here. Boom, boom, boom. I didn't miss something, did I? No, there's no switch here. I thought maybe there was a switch there. There is not. Alright, so... Oh, here's somebody. Let's take them out. Boom. Now, if I kill the boss like that, I'm going to apologize now. Um, <laughs> She has no skills. I mean, I made her to, to do these little showcases of mods not to uh not to actually run around and adventure. Ooh, what's this? Do we want to go in there? Let me look. Oh, that's the next way forward. I guess we do. Close it for now. She does not want it open while she pilfers. Oh, cook pot if you want to cook something. Oh, I like that. That was, that's an interesting little bit of light showing in. That's cool. Um, we'll just grab these little potions. I'm sure we don't need them. Oh, you know what? I don't need this stuff. Nah, okay. Alright, let's move on. See, I was trying to mod the other day. I would like to give the guys some sort of different realistic underwear, but I couldn't find a mod that really does that, that doesn't do want. <clears throat> oh, I think I hear a sound. I think they're blacksmithing. Oh, 
Oh, I'm being blasted. Oh, oh, well, okay. I don't think they can kill her, though. I think she's got the God Ring on still, so she's pretty indestructible. It's kind of like you've got Supergirl with you. Oh, one down. That'll help. Oh. <laughs> Those are some powerful shouts, man. Those are powerful. Okay, let's, um... Get her? No, it hit the... it hit the... Oh. Alright, that one's down. Is this him? Oh, it's him! Okay, so be prepared for this kind of craziness when you get in here. There we go. <sighs> wow, okay, so be prepared for that. That would just, that would be a pretty good fight if you were um, coming in here without the god ring and you were just a normal <laughs> a normal person. She would not have made it. Um, she would not have made it without the god ring because I have her woefully unprepared. What is she, level one? I think she's still level one. She's still level one. Yeah. She had leveled at some point on one of the other showcases, but I backed her up before then. So let's see what Goran has. Um, he has Mystic Order robes. Hmm, these are totally cloth with no enchants. Interesting. We'll take his stuff, though. Let's see, do these girls, they don't have the face gen issue, do they? No, they don't. So, probably... Probably, let's see if we can flip her over. No, I don't see. She has a little bit of a line. Her face is dirtier. Oh, I think she's supposed to be older. Okay, so no big deal. So overall, I would say that worked very well. Um, what am I after now? Leaving? Really? I'm just leaving? Okay. Well, I mean, I really shouldn't complain. We did take care of the boss. So we're just leaving. So let me let me gather up anything that's here. Did I get anything? Let me check my quest, because I may have missed something. I'll return to the Strange Ruins. Oh, so we're going to use the Strange Ruins for more than just getting me out here. See, this is why I say, you know, maybe I should try to just wait. The Mystery of Talara. Ooh, my illusioning. Oh, and she leveled. Well, don't be surprised if you see her as level one again. I, you know, I, <laughs> I will probably reload her back to an earlier save. But nonetheless, this is cool. Okay, so um, let me see if she got anything else in her inventory that's worth looking at. Um, she did get the chain lightning. It's half charged for whatever reason. Um, Oh, maybe he was using that. Yeah, maybe. She did get some different... Oh, you know what? We should try this on and see what it looks like. I think we might armor replace her. Okay, hold on a second. That was really slow. <laughs> We're going to do a quick save right here in case this crashes. That was really a slow load. Let's throw the gloves on, the hood, and the robes. Oh, okay, it made it. So I guess this is a recolored... I don't know, is this a recoloring Sigic Monk's robe? That's what it reminds me of. And it looks pretty cool. Let's just take the hood off for fun. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? It has no armor, but it's very nice looking. So... Even if it's just a recolor, and I, I may be wrong, there may be more to it than that. It, it looks very nice. So I would say good job there. I'm not a big fan of hoods, but... Now she looks like she belongs here. Though I think I'm going to switch her back to her usual outfit. Oh, 
Oh, these are black gloves. Those are cool. We'll wear those. I don't know why those are black. We'll wear the college boots. And she can have her... Oh, what's her outfit back? Mm, I've lost it. It's here somewhere. Give me just a second. She could wear the nocturnal clothes. The nocturnal clothes are... In this, in the current um, installment of this armor replacer, are, are just little, little nothing. So if you enjoy this, you will, you will enjoy this. Um, okay, we're heading that way. Oh yeah, I should just follow the dead body, shouldn't I? Yep. So she's just going to wander out of here. Well, this was a nice little dungeon, I think. Um, the little dungeon itself was fine. Had some little casters in it. I could actually have stood to do more of that if I was um, a regular adventurer and not just trying to showcase the mod. I think that would have been fine. So, um, okay, I'm going to have to leave for just a minute. I'm going to leave the stream going. Um, we have to go back to the Strange Ruins, so we're going to go back there. Um, like I said, I will. I have to go away, but I'm only going to be gone like for just a less than five minutes. I'll be back. Um, I'm going to let this load. Hopefully no death will occur. Okay, I'm just going to leave this here like this, okay? And I'll be back in a few minutes.
Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Had to go grab some more coffee and stuff. So it looks like we need to walk up there. Um, it didn't take me too long. What, about four minutes? So, not too bad. Did I see? Oh, looky there. I like sarcastic moons. I mean, sarcastic dragons, moons, and stuff. I think they're very cool. Anyway, I also like the, uh, I have like one of the HD stars and galaxies, which is nice. <coughs> so anyway, um, let's see what's up here. Oh, let's do a quick save. In case something were to go horribly wrong, we don't have to, want to have to go back to the Mystic Realm. Oh, okay, you don't even have to click on anything. If you just step forward, it will take you. This is not necessarily a bad thing. Explore the Mystic's portal. Okay, explore your new home. Oh. Oh. Oh, and if you step back to the portal, does it take me back? It does. It takes me back here. So that was a quick, easy thing to find out. Oh. It has a unique look, doesn't it? Maybe I should be a first person. Oh, I moved too closely again. Okay, let's quit. Let's quit doing that. All right, I'm getting a shudder like there's an earthquake. I don't understand. <coughs> and sounds like a dragon is flying by. Do I have a dragon? Can you have a dragon here? I don't know. I hear the familiar sound of the Nern root. Oh, she's got some weird light reflected on her. Oh, that's from these, yeah. Maybe we should try the no. Let's try the no torch look. I don't know. I think you could see better with the torch, actually. Yeah. Oh, there is a dragon flying around in here. <coughs> hmm. Well, hopefully, he will not bother us. And I say that with no confidence whatsoever. So, okay, I'm trying to follow a path here. A path I am not opposed to. I don't know why I have a dragon in here, though. But, the dragon is not attacking. Maybe the dragon is part of the home somehow. Though, that would be unusual. Yeah, that's where the weird light comes from. Okay, so let's let's walk up the steps here, see what we have. You know, I just don't trust dragons. <laughs> let's see what we got over here. Um Keg. We got one of those. That's my door. Okay, this is our forge. <clears throat> this is a little bit like the Bard's College, isn't it? Just a little bit. So the dragon flying around and making everything shudder is a little bit on the annoying side, because you feel like something's going to get you at any moment. It's not horrible, though. It's just one of those things. In a way, it's kind of fun, I guess, having a dragon flying around. But that depends. See, he keeps sounding like he's really close, like he's going to attack. And this tree is dead. I wonder if you can have it grow. Okay, let's head into the Mystic Manor. <coughs> this was our goal. Pardon me. 
Sorry, very froggy. Oh, and now my headset's trying to fall off. Give me just a second. <coughs> okay, I've really got to remember to do a quick save before I walk in through doors. Okay, it's loading, though. I thought it was crashing, but it actually loaded. Okay, so it loaded. Alright. Do I need the torch anymore? Let's try it without the torch. Okay, so... Hmm. Need something. Hmm, guess not. No face gen problem for that guy, in case you didn't pay attention to that. Oh, there's a shield. <clears throat> Those stats are ridiculously high, but she's wearing the uh, the god ring. If if I take that off here, I'm sorry. I'm still <coughs> very froggy. I'm very sorry. Let's take that off. We'll just do the carry away ring, and we'll take that off. And you'll see normal stats. We can put the god ring back on if we need to, but see, everything has normal stats. Um... So the house looks cool, looks fun. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else unique here. Oh, who's this? Need something? Heard any rumors lately? Hmm. Let's see what that is. Oh, she gives me. I'm I'm doing alternate start. Um, what is it? Alternate life. Well, anyway, <coughs> you know the mod I mean. What other rumors can she tell me? Oh, there's more rumors she can give me. Get this. He's been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> Foolish lad. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Oh. People say there's oh, she's got more for me. Change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? See ya. Okay. All right, and she's not bad. And uh, what can I do for let me you? see this girl. I'd better get going. I want to see. Oh, did you need something? Until next time. Hmm. Well, I would like to be able. There we go. Yeah, these girls don't look quite a hundred percent vanilla. They look pretty good. Oh. Oh, who's this? They look kind of vampiric, which is not bad. They just, they look pretty cool. Until next time. Now, this one definitely has a vanilla hairdo. Did the other two have vanilla hair? That one girl did not look like, this does not look like vanilla hair. Something? Well, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I'll take that back. All right, so... Okay, so we got some people down here. This must be like the little barracks room where all our people sleep. Is there anything in this chest? Is there anything good about the book? No. Alright, so they must be going to bed. So let's go explore the house some more. Yep. Hmm. Well, they're definitely using our mods, then. That's cool. It saves a lot of space if you do head-only and don't do textures and let the, uh, let the player have control of that. It's probably why this mod isn't too big, even though it looks like the house is going to be pretty big. I'm probably moving a little fast. Sorry if I am twirling around too quickly. I'm trying to get us to somewhere. I mean, this is cool, the oven and everything. But I'm trying to get us to somewhere where we'll see something, um... I don't know. Something different. This is nice. This is a good house. There's lots of space. Um... Let's head... That was the basement, actually. Let's head up here. 
I don't know why that wants me to go outside. Oh, forget that. We don't care about that. I don't care about that. Oh, my goodness. Turn that off. I'm trying to... Oh, we're done with the Mystic Order. Oh, okay. We're done with the Mystic Order. Okay, so we're on the main floor again. And this looks to be pretty good sized. Let's see what's here. They said there was room for your children, so... So that's cool. You could actually move people to here. Why your children children would have... Oh, a warped soul gem. Hmm. So they obviously added some things, and that's water breathing. Well, that's cool. Hmm. All right. Another room here. Is this the... Well, all of these look kind of like children's rooms, don't they? <coughs> Pardon me. They all have small beds or servants' quarters, maybe. Let's see. <coughs> I'm sorry. Really. I am so... Froggy, for some reason. Oh, let's see what's over here. We have our own statue of Azura. Um, we have the Arcane Enchanter. Okay. Um, oh, I kind of like the way they put those in bags. You know, the problem I see here, though, there is no storage here. Yep, if I want to use these, there's no storage with the Enchanter or the Alchemy thing. Is there storage over here? I mean, I love the little shrines. I love the little decoration. It's, it's great, really. Oh, and there's Nocturnal. You included Nocturnal. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And the little Debella statue, which is actually bigger than the others. It looks nice. And an unusable chest? Why do I have that? That's of no use to me. I mean, okay, decoration-wise, but... So this is decorated in a really cool fashion. I love the way it looks, but it is not practical. There's no storage here for enchanting or for ingredients for alchemy. Um... I suppose you could use the two cupboards. Eh, I suppose you could, but I don't know. Yeah, you do have two cupboards, but... Eh, yeah, okay, so kind of miss the idea on that. Um, even just having the uh, pouch over here would be nice. That's really all you need. I honestly don't know why we don't use the pouch over here, too, but, you know, you could put a little chest here, or um, even a little sack. Um, well, a sack. Eh. Well, you could put something, a barrel, or over here you could really just put the little apothecary bag, and that's all you would need. But for this, you do need something, um, just some sort of little storage. Anyway, okay, I'll quit drawing it on about that. Let's move on. Got some books. Like I said, the, um... There's something here. Oh, Tundra Striders. The decorations are great. I love it. It really looks good. Let's go down here. I like all the little knickknacks and things. This must be the uh, master bedroom kind of thing. Oh my goodness, looky there, what is this? I'm afraid to step in there, hold on. Let's do a quick save, I might die, who knows what will happen. I don't know what the purpose to this is. Is this a bath? An electric bath? She's not dying, I don't have the god ring on anymore. Maybe it's supposed to be like an electrical shower to cleanse you. 
I'm trying to see if there's anything. I don't know. Yeah, so sorry about that up close and personal view there. I was just trying to see if there was something. Oh. Hmm. Let's see, there's the journal, which I guess we could read the journal. Let's see what it says. Mystic Order. Turn pages. There are no pages to turn. Can you believe that? <laughs> we'll just leave it there. It's a good decoration. All right, so is this the whole house? The problem I think I see with the house is kind of a lack of crafting storage. Yeah, I think so. Um... The decorations are really good. The house looks nice. It's big enough. Um, I don't know what this is, but it's cool. And even just a little electrical effect is cool. Um, let's look at our character and see. Oh, this is the wrong thing. Let's look. How do I look at my character? You know what? I'm kind of... Oh. Do we have a way to look at our character? There's system, there's quests. Um, I guess we could look under how, um, active effects. Let's see if there's an active effect. Magicka regenerates very fast. Oh, animals will neither attack nor flee from you. I have voice of the sky. Okay. Um, so this is what this is. Magicka Conduit. Your Magicka would regenerate very fast. Okay. Okay, that's all that is. Okay. So that's fine. I probably have lost the effect now. Yes. Okay. So that just helps you regenerate your magic if you need to, if you're standing in here casting a lot of spells. Or you could stand there and cast a lot of spells and level up your spell casting. Alright, so Yeah, the one problem I see with the house Yeah, is a lack of practical storage. There's a lot of cool decorations. And they did a good job with the windows. What's over here? I mean, there's the cupboards, but generally speaking, I'm not sure that cupboards are totally trustworthy. Maybe they are. Hmm. Maybe. Can we get that coin purse? Okay, yeah, you can pick it up. So what's in this wardrobe? Okay, and they do leave you a few things laying around, I guess. But <clears throat> the decorations, the, the kind of clutter stuff is really cool. But yeah, I'm not really seeing... That's too bad. I'm not seeing a lot of practical storage. So this is... Um, let's go out and look at the... Uh, Oh, I did not mean to hit that. There we go. Let's go out and look at the uh, Blacksmith Forge area again. Now, there is a dragon flying around out here. He never did attack me, though. So, as near as I can tell, he's just for appearances' sakes. Now, it's a little dark out here, but I did come equipped with torches, so it's not too bad. So, we have... All the things you need, the barrel is stealing. You have got to be kidding me. And it has cabbage in it. So the only thing here that might be usable for storage is stealing? Alright, so... Alright, so that would be my only critiques of this house. Um, the house itself is nice enough. Has a cool aesthetic, and it's in its own little snow globe-like magical bubble, which is cool. 
I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, I guess one other thing. Is there any way, do I have to walk that long path every time I come in here? Um, can I fast travel out of here? Let's see if we can fast travel out of here. Fast travel to, yes. Okay, so I can fast travel out of there. Can I fast travel... Hmm, well there's not really a way to fast travel into the house though, is there? So when I go to the house, let me just look and see. Can we fast travel to the house? Hold on, that's the third person view doing that. Can we fast travel to the house at all? I guess that's going to be a no. So every time you come here, you're going to have to walk this path. Eh, you know, I think I would have thought, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Because this is kind of a weird path to have to, yeah. Okay, so the aesthetic and all is cool. I, I don't know about running through that path every time to get here. And the lack of storage. Okay. But, there we go. It's still... Hold on. We'll, we'll do it the other way. We'll put our... Oh. I hope that dragon doesn't like land and eat me. So, this house is... Let me just... Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Sorry. Let this load for just a second. Sorry, I was having some coffee. So, oh, I went too far. So this house is the Mystic Order. And I really liked the dungeon and killing the mages. I could see doing that on a normal character and playing. I liked that better than the house. The house is good, and there's a lot of pretty things about the house, but it has that lack of storage. You can't really fast travel to the house and you're going to have to walk that path every time to get to your door. And that's just a little impractical for me. Still, you know, if anyone else likes it, you know, it is it is a nice house. It's like I say, you just are not going to have a lot of storage. You have to use the cupboards and the one barrel out here at the Excuse me, at the forge is um is stealing for some reason. And there is a dragon flying around, but he's not attacking you. So I imagine he's just for appearances. She doesn't have any shouts, so I can't really shout at him. Anyway, so that's uh that's this. That's the Mystic Order. And uh That's all we're going to look at for now, so thanks for watching.